What's up everybody, this is Suheel from Feel Good Threads. When Chris Paul isn't out there breaking ankles on the court, he's out there with his player additions, and we're here to show you how to make these. Uh, the bro gas, you can tell them get this mark check. Now I'm making beats, make them bounce like a fraud check. Never met the world peace, life it is art test. Need evidence, give them proof like a hard vest. Give them proof, no Dwight, that's a D12. Keep in mind guys, this custom right here, uh, it is more of an intermediate to expert level custom. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this custom, please hire somebody. I don't want you to mess your, your, your legend blues up uh, thinking that you can do it. But if you, if you have the confidence in it, um, you know, I say go at it, but you might want to start with a, a beater pair or a pair that's kind of old just to get comfortable with, with the paints and everything. Uh, speaking of paints, guys, using here Angelus brand. Uh, Angelus brand is an amazing brand because of the fact that Stuff like patent leather, it's, it's very difficult to paint. Uh, it's, it's a plasticky kind of a feel. It has actually a clear coat on top of it. So a lot of people don't prep this area properly and it tends to crack. Uh, when I say crack, there's a couple of spots. One being in this area here and this area here. Uh, they, those are the weak spots basically. So you have to really make sure that when you're prepping this whole shoe up that we pay particular attention to those areas. Those are the, the hot spots that we, I want you to look for. And I'll show you guys exactly how to get this guy prepped before we even put paint on it, okay? With that said, let's get started. This is 320 grit wet sandpaper. We're using sandpaper because what ends up happening is this patent leather has a clear coat on it that prevents paint from getting on it. Because of that, I'm sanding this guy down. And what this sandpaper is doing, guys, because patent leather doesn't have any place to really hold paint onto, we're taking that clear, the first layer, this clear coat of, of uh, on the patent leather off. And at the same time, what we're doing is we're creating small little like pores or holes for us to have that paint grasp onto the, the patent leather portion. When you end up shining the light on the shoe, it will start to show you portions on where it may still be glossy or it may be completely matted out. If you see that it's matted out, like it has a dull finish, more than likely you're in the right direction. So make sure that on this step, you are definitely taking your time. Again, especially in these high crease areas. And when you sand this guy down, you definitely do not want to hit the threading. Um, when I'm done guys, the clear coat has a bunch of residue. It's just dried up residue or paint, clear paint that's still sitting on top of this whole Jordan 11. I get one of these guys from like Office Max or Office Depot, one of those supply stores, office supply stores. And all you gotta do is just make sure that all that dust that's left over, all that dust that, that was left over, you make sure you spray it down well and, and you're, you're making sure that the surface is completely clean. That way, uh, when we do actually hit this shoe with paint, it has uh, more of a tendency to actually stick on and, and hold. Next thing we're gonna do, Angelus preparing to glazer. What that does is if there's any excess dust or, or any kind of residue that's left over, we're, we're cleaning it off with these cotton balls. And then I jump onto the upper because this upper also has a clear coat on it. We got some red tape over here. Let's start to tape. We've already finished up this upper. You notice that I've laced this out with the red tape on the top. Then I use just regular blue 3M tape here on the bottom. And what that does is just, you know, covers up any overspray that's potentially uh, looking to lurk onto the sole, okay? I'm jumping now onto this sock liner. As you guys can see, the sock liner has a couple of curves here. Uh, again, taking small pieces of tape and really making sure that as I'm going down the sock liner, I'm pressing down like this and really rounding out the red tape, okay? It's gonna be very difficult for overspray now to get past all of that. 
but at the end of the day, it still can. So I finish that off by using some glue masking tape, and just capping the top. Now that gives us less opportunity for overspray when we don't need it. Uh, gives you a cleaner custom at the end and again less cleanup for us to do so that's I mean at least for me That's the most important part because it saves me time What I'll start focusing on first guys is this mesh tongue and These side pieces here and the reason why is because they're both a very similar texture They're like soft mesh like textures and, and their fabrics uh, So because of that we are going to uh, do our first introduction of too soft. This is Angela's too soft it will help lock in that paint into this tongue and these little small strips here uh, and keep that same texture, okay? Uh, an important part of your custom is you want it to feel and look like a factory shoe, right? So because of that, uh, I'm using this too soft. So I've mixed, you know, a, a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the green and a good portion of the South Beach and start mixing. The next thing we have to do is strain. This is a strainer, okay? What the strainer does is it takes this paint that has like little chips and particles and stuff like that. It takes those chips and particles out as you put the, the paint through the strainer. It'll come out from here nice and clean, okay? Um, I'm not gonna do that today because I already have paint that's already been pre-mixed and I, I think you guys get the gist of how to use this guy. So as you guys can see, I already started on the tongue here and all we're doing is just like nice, clean, light coats. Now I can jump to the, the sides here. So I already have uh, two soft in here and I've got my paint mixture. I just continue to go along these lines here, one at a time. Same thing on these strips, guys. It's nice, light coats. You don't want to go too intense on them. Uh, let's just give this about five minutes to dry. Uh, once it's dry after five minutes, we'll just keep going with another couple of layers until it's completely full, and then we can jump on the upper. All right, folks, so uh, three layers down, I've got this tongue pretty much uh, filled in with the emerald color. I've got the side strips as well, filled in with the emerald color as well. And I've also made sure to get the back portions of these little strips as well where the, the laces go. It's important that you used a one-to-one -one ratio of too soft and uh, the Angelus paint. And once that portion is all completely dried in, uh, you, you know it's locked in when the heat gun is actually applied for three to five minutes. If you don't do that, what's gonna end up happening is it'll still have this uh, spongy, wet, dry texture. So uh, I would recommend that you, you definitely invest in one of those guys. It makes painting a lot faster, but more importantly, when you need to lock in the paint on this portion here, you need a heat gun. Unfortunately, hair dryers usually will not work unless they go up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, with that said, guys, we're now jumping on to the upper portion, on to the next one. Um, on this portion here, up top, you just need to use standard Angelus paint. You need to make sure you're also adding a little bit of this guy called Duller. Duller actually takes this shine, and I'm not sure if you guys could see the shine there. Uh, I want to steer away from that and, and, and keep a factory look. So that's what Duller does. It brings that shine off of that area and it makes it more of a matted out look, like a factory finish. So what we'll do is we'll try to avoid the patent leather area as much as possible. So if there's overspray that goes on there, it's not a big deal. Our concentration right now is just filling in these small gaps. All right, folks, so um, this is the fun part. This is painting the patent leather. Um, number one, please make sure that there's nothing on here. I can't stress that enough because if you have 
any kind of particles that are on your patent leather and you paint on top of it, guess what it's gonna do? It's gonna leave a rough spot there and this patent leather is supposed to look nice and smooth. Uh, and the acrylic finisher that you put on top of it afterwards is going to accentuate any kind of errors that you have, okay? That's why it was so important that we made sure we taped this off very precisely, that we prepped the whole upper in the right fashion, and now we're gonna get into how to actually paint this guy, okay? In my airbrush now, guys, I, I, I'm adding the paint, and I'm adding only too hard to it, okay? At a one to one ratio, so let's get that started. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this guy to the side, which is my airbrush, and I'm gonna hit it with this adhesion promoter first, okay? I'm keeping far away, so I spray the whole area. Notice that I'm really far away from when I shoot it. I'm about eight inches away, and I'm really making sure to cover a lot of the panel from far away. I'm misting it. What I'm gonna do is let this guy sink in, let it dry for a little bit, and then I'm gonna just continue this process again. So, meaning I'm gonna jump on this adhesion promoter one more time, hit it again all the way around, and then I'm gonna hit it with paint again. We're gonna, we're gonna end up doing that about mm, two or three layers, just like we've been doing with the, the rest of the shoe, and we should pretty much be at that point where we just wanna let it settle out and dry, and so we can hit it with the finisher at the end, all right? All right, folks, so we're rounding third base here. You can see I already started working on this uh, jump man here. I started lacing him out in white. And uh, the more intricate part, and, and my most favorite part is uh, jumping on the tongue. What I'm using here is a 20-0 liner brush. It's a super, super small brush for super small, tight areas like this. You don't wanna dip in too much paint. You just want to load this little brush with enough where you know that it can start lining out and not over flowing all over that all over that tongue tab. So all right guys, I think this is the, the portion that everybody's kind of been waiting for. Uh, the finale of how to finish up this Emerald 11. What we're gonna do is simply add this finisher here into my airbrush and uh, we're gonna mask off the top area so we don't get any high gloss finisher on the upper portion that should, should remain matte. You wanna make sure that if you're putting tape on something like this, that it doesn't stick too strongly because when you peel it off, you're gonna peel the paint off with it. So you don't want that to happen. Um, I have a tape here that I usually use and that is made by Scotch Blue. It's an edge lock tape. Uh, for some reason, it really sucks for shoes except for when you need to do something like this. And what I mean by that is, it, it's not very good when it, when it comes to like adhering to the shoe, but I don't want it to be good at adhering to the shoe. I just want it to be enough where it blocks off the, the finisher so we don't get any of it on the upper. So what I recommend here, and I highly recommend this, is if you're in an area that has any kind of dust, you might wanna wipe it down with one of those wet naps to keep all of the dust settled. Okay, and when you're shooting it with an airbrush, you wanna make sure that you're not shooting it in an area where you could kick up dust and then it'll come and land down on your shoe. Folks, I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial on the Jordan 11 Chris Paul PE. If you guys appreciated this video, please give us a big like, a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got some more uh, crazy customs coming up for you guys soon. Once again, this is Suheel with the Feel Good channel. Peace. Uh, back to the middle one time again. This is how we grind, my friend. They sleeping off like a den. Wake them up in spite of them. Government state rob us raw. Kill my peeps and lie to y'all. Trying to live a brighter cause. But we all dream for robbery.